This is what's known as Pele's hair. You might see it laying around after a volcanic eruption, but it can actually be pretty dangerous. It has the potential to irritate, cut, or get stuck in your skin because it's glass. The National Park Service even had to issue a warning about it on November 29th when Mount Aloha, the world's largest active volcano, erupted for the first time since 1984. Basically, if the wind picks up these thin, sharp strands of glass, you might want to take cover or at least shield yourself. Pele's hair is made when bubbles on top of lava flows burst and stretch the lava into thin threads that harden into glass. Imagine stretching out caramel or bubble gum. The strands can be up to two feet long, but are really, really thin, like millimeters thin. Pele's hair often bunches up in large mats or waves of golden loops that almost resemble tumbleweeds. And apparently birds even use it to make nests sometimes. Pele's hair is named after the Hawaiian deity known as Pele Hanuamea, a god is associated with volcanoes and lava. Native Hawaiians have a healthy respect for her, and she's described as a force capable of simultaneous destruction and creation.